everyone. It's Chris from Rat Race Rebellion. So many people who come online looking for remote work will go onto Facebook and look for work from home groups. And they'll dive into those and take what they're reading on there as gospel. And unfortunately, a lot of those Facebook groups are entirely populated by scammers. To prove that point, I went online this morning went on to Facebook and just typed in as a search phrase, work from home. I wanted to see what kind of groups came up, head over to one, dive in a little bit and show you how quickly I came across scams. Before I do that, I want to encourage you, if you like this video, you know the drill, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And when you do, click the little notification bell. That'll ensure that you get notifications every time we upload new content. So to kick things off, I headed over to Facebook where I just typed in the search phrase work from home to see what kind of groups it would come up with. Now, this top group is one that I pop into pretty frequently because a lot of the scams that I've featured here on our YouTube channel actually came from that channel. But today I wanted to check out a different group. So I just went with the second one on the list over here, work from home USA. So they've had eight posts today and the group has 6,000 members. Um, and yeah, so I popped over there and I looked at some of the things that they have here to offer. And the very first thing that I saw was this post made by Selena Rosalia, supposedly a representative from CoForge. She said, promptly reply back, yes, I am if you're interested. So I replied back, yes, I am, to which Selena responded, inbox me. So of course, I immediately sent her a message um, in which I said, I'm interested in learning more about the CoForge positions. And she went into the usual spiel that we get from these guys. Um, typically, when they start off like this, I'm immediately thinking it's going to be an equipment scam. Um, so anyway, she tells me a little uh, about the company, just the company name and the different positions that they have available. And I express an interest in the administrative assistant position. She tells me about the pay. Um, and, uh, I, and she asks me if I'd be willing to work from home. I say, no, actually I have to work from home. I have 10 children and I don't want to work outside of my home. So this is perfect. She asks for my phone number. I ask where she's located and she completely blows that off and doesn't give me an answer at all. And then she proceeds to tell me that the interview will be held on Microsoft Teams. And I tell her I can use Teams. And she says, why? <laughs> to which I say, I don't understand the question. I can use Teams. You said the interview will be on Microsoft Teams. And I said, I can do that. Why are you asking me why? Can you send me a link for the interview? And she tells me then I have to text the hiring manager and provide them with the interview code. This is the code for verification. So I did. I texted that number. And I sent her a screenshot to show her that I had just texted that number. Um, and I say he didn't reply. And she says, it, we reply. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it will reply or he will reply or something, but it, we reply. And then she proceeds to send me a link to download Microsoft Teams. And I tell her I've already, I already have Microsoft Teams on my system. And she sends me the contact information for the person I'm supposed to communicate with. So, uh, yeah. So then we jump into the conversation with the other person who is probably not another person at all on Microsoft Teams. Now, you know, I had to go over and check out the profile of the person who made this post. Um, because it's never actually the person who made the post. Usually what they do is they take pictures of other people or they hijack people's Facebook accounts. So this is the page that's set up for Selena Rosalia. And um, yeah, let's just say there's a lot of cleavage for a professional page. <laughs> teeth and cleavage, teeth and cleavage. <laughs> um, uh, and 
There's not a whole lot posted on here, just a couple of pictures. But what I did want to do is um, take a look and see. I mean, these, these posts were set up both on January 29th, which means new profile. And then one of the things that I do is I usually go into more and I see what the person who set up this page has liked because that helps me figure out a little bit about what they have going on behind the scenes. If, if in the process of setting up this profile, they actually took the time to like something. And one of the things that we're seeing is there's a lot of references back to African sites and African locations here. Um, so that gives me a sense of where this is coming from. Um, so for example, if I mouse over this, well, this is obviously Libya, but when I mouse over the boss lady cosmetics, that's in Libya. Um, so a lot of these are coming from um, African locations, which leads me to believe that my scammer is also in an African location. So let's look at the conversation on Microsoft Teams, shall we? I kick this off by sending the message that's just the interview code. It's the very first thing that I say to this person. It's the only thing I say to them. And right away, I get a response. Um, Welcome to CoForge. I believe you're here for the job briefing and interview. How are you today? Um, I tell him that's correct. I'm well. And he goes on to introduce himself. Richard Osborne. He's the regional sales manager and hiring manager. And he's going to give me a brief interview. He wants me to introduce myself by indicating my full name and location. So I give him my name and a bogus location. It's a pleasure to meet me. And um, next he says, I'm going to give you a briefing on the project and I advise you to read with care. With each line, just respond okay or yes to indicate your readiness for further briefing. <clears throat> now, I believe that given that very specific request that I respond in one of two ways, either okay or yes, and the rapidity of responses throughout this conversation with him, um, at least this early part of the conversation with him, I believe that this scammer is using a command bot. So he's used AI to generate the next installment of the conversation once that bot receives the prompt with either okay or yes. And if you watch the timestamps on these messages, you'll see why I think that. So I say okay, and he goes into the interview is a Q&A interview process, so it will be done via text on here. Understood? We were speaking by text anyway, so I'm not quite sure why that's different, but I say okay as directed. Then they go on in usual scammer fashion to give me a bunch of information about the company they don't really work for, but they just grabbed from the company website. So you'll notice that he sends this message at 1130 and without even reading it, I respond okay. And immediately that triggers that next installment of the conversation. And again, this just verifies for me or, or drives home for me that this is a bot or highly likely a bot because I doubt that this scammer was just sitting there getting ready to just send the next message. Usually there's a little bit of lag in there because they're entertaining various prospective victims at the same time. So this next long blurb to which I respond, okay, and boom, just like that comes the next response. Um, so this goes on for a little bit, and then he says, now he's changing the prompt. Reply with done after reading. So I say, done. <laughs> like, I'm done reading your response. And then I say, I researched the company before applying, so I'm familiar with these details. Thank you. And then I say, done. And that prompts the next piece of the conversation. This is a strictly on home, uh, at home job. The hours are flexible. You can choose to work from home or anywhere of your choice. The pay is $38.44 an hour. Train is 19, training is $19.10 an hour. You'll get paid bi-weekly via direct deposit or paycheck. Um, the maximum amount you can work a week is 45 hours. 
Um, and then he asks, I, I believe working from home won't be a problem for you to handle. And I say, not at all. I'm prepared to work from home. Um, that didn't stimulate a response right away. So I said, done. And then boom, just like that came the next installment. So just more proof of the bot. So they go ahead and tell me about the benefits, which I'm never going to receive because this isn't a real job. So I say, okay. So then he moves on to the job requirements and pretty standard stuff, except that most companies won't ask you if you have a bank account <laughs> before you start working for them. But all right. So I say, yes, I have all of these. And then on to the responsibilities and asking, can I handle all of these if I'm trained towards doing them? Yes, I can. All right, next are your interview questions. We are going to ask you a few questions. You are to answer each question briefly and accordingly, okay? Okay. Firstly, what was your interview verification code? And I say, I sent you, uh, I sent it to you in my first message. Please scroll up. To which he responds after a couple of minutes, Miss, what is your interview verification code number? So I just put it in there. Seriously, it was the very first thing I said in the interview, the non-interview interview. Okay, then he asks me all of these questions. What kinds of jobs have you had? Um, and he's, because he asked me for that code, um, this got lagged behind, but I said to him, I don't like having to repeat myself and I had already provided that detail. So that was with regard to the, the um, interview code. So I responded to the questions and I threw a couple of things in there that would have been red flags for a typical employer, but not for this guy. Um, among the things that I put in there, they asked, do I have a criminal record? And I just said, I have a criminal record. No question about, <laughs> no question about that. They didn't ask me about it, uh, the nature of the record or anything else. So for question number eight, which was, why should we hire you? I responded, I have a long track record of meeting goals. I work well with others and also autonomously. I follow instructions to the letter. I'm an above average scam investigator and I'm punctual and have excellent attendance. Um, so, and then in number 10, where they said, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm a highly focused, self-sufficient worker who has a good instinct for when people are feeding me a line of bunk. Uh, I will do all I can to help. <laughs> to help the company I'm working for to succeed. Again, no picking up on that at all. So then they're going through and asking me their questions. Now, you might notice that number 14, they're asking, what bank do you operate with to see if it tallies with our company's official salary payment account? Now, I intentionally put in Western Union, not a bank account, okay? It's Western Union. Wanted to see if they would pick up on that. And then number 16, they said to me, what are you most proud of? And I said, um, being nobody's fool. So again, they didn't pick up on anything else that I've said to this point. So we know what their primary focus is when he says to me, hell no, miss, when I said Western Union <laughs> instead of a bank. Okay, so they missed the um the criminal record they missed the above average scam investigator they missed not falling for bunk they missed being nobody's fool but they zeroed right in on me not giving the name of a real bank and saying western union instead i couldn't help but notice you noticing me noticing you so that should tell you right off the bat what they're looking for right um so Anyway, I say, oh, I'm sorry. I meant Wells Fargo. I bank with Wells Fargo. I had to send a Western Union to my, <laughs> Western Union to my friend yesterday, and that was stuck in my head. Now, that must have put off some alarms in their head because it took a little bit before they got back in touch with me. So I said, hello. I also have an account with Bank of America. And you can see there was some lag in there. Um, and then they start asking me this, all right, you are, you are to provide me with the following information to enable the company's secretary department to put you into register for proper verification. Language skills, not great. They want my full name, my cell phone number, my email, my date of birth, my social security number, my driver's license image, 
front and back. Of course, they want everything here that they need to steal my identity and or sell my identity on the dark web. Um, so, and he asks for that twice in a row. So obviously he paint, he posted that in here. Now he says, he said, you are to provide me with, and then he said, I am sure you got all this, right? And I say, yes, I have these. Because the question is, you've got all of these, right? Yes, I have these. To which he responds, read again, miss. <laughs> and I say, I'm making a picture of my license. Why do you want me to read it again? You asked me if I have all of that. And I said, yes. You have to give me a minute to get it for you. Why are you being a jerk with me? So his response to that is to send me exactly what he's already sent me twice. So I say, okay, just a minute, please. And send him these details, including my bogus driver's license, which I just made myself younger, gave myself a new birth date, gave myself a new picture. I love my hair in that picture. That's why I chose it. Not me at all. And um, it's a bogus Massachusetts license with a bogus back of Connecticut driver's license. They don't match at all. Not going to accomplish anything for anybody. And then I say, done. And I did not send them a social security number. Specifically did not include a social security number. Miss, please read clear before you reply, okay? Where is SSN? I don't like to share my SSN until after I have been hired. Do I have the job? Miss, you are, you are here. Okay, going to read it the way that he wrote it. Miss, you are here for the job. So what we don't need, we don't ask for it. Okay, if you are ready for the job, send us your SSN. So I say, okay, it's, hold on. I have to grab my social security card. And then after a couple of minutes, I send him a picture of the Libyan flag. <laughs> okay. Because my best guess based on the information that I found on that Facebook profile is this scammer or team of scammers is based in Libya. So I pull out that card and he says, mean question mark, which I'm assuming he means meaning. And I say, Oh, I think you know exactly what I mean. Hell no. So explain. <laughs> now remember, this is supposed to be a professional working for a major corporation. And I say, I'm giving you a chance to explain yourself. I can't begin to explain why someone in Libya, you, is trying to scam Americans into thinking you actually work for CoForge. So you explain. I'll wait. He doesn't respond. So I say, ah, uh, so you have no explanation. Miss, I don't understand what you are saying. I said, yes, you do. Now is not the time to play stupid. And he says, Libya, how? All right. So I say, I have pinpointed your location. I want him to think that I know right where he is instead of generally where he is. So I say, I've pinpointed your location. All of the evidence is here. It's too late to back out now. And he says, at where? <laughs> and I'm sure at this point he's thinking, oh, maybe this person has more information on me than I realize. Maybe they've tracked my IP. Um, maybe they found a way to figure out exactly where I am. Um, so he says, at where? And I said, you'll find out shortly. Looks like we're all done here. See you in a little while. And then I say, run! <laughs> okay. So at 1235, he responds, and I'm going to read this exactly as it's written. It is this nonsensical run-on sentence. Miss, we don't understand you yet. We don't have time for, for all what you are saying. Just keep messaging all when we have your time. We get back to you, okay? And I say, LOL, sure. Have a nice day in Libya. Masalami probably mispronounced that, but it says goodbye in Libyan. All right. So at this point, I haven't heard anything back from him. I don't expect to hear anything back from him. I had my fun with him. And that's the end of my conversation with this particular scammer. However, 
Before I let you go, I want to circle back to that Facebook page where this all started, just so that I can show you that this is not a one-off on these types of pages, okay? Um, this was the first one that I had encountered on that day. But as you start to scroll down this page, um, we start to see things like, I need an urgent freelancer for my project. Those almost always lead to scams. Um, are you looking for work from home? I have got an offer for you. Tap on for more or tap in for more information. Um, I'm working on something exciting. It may or may not be for you. Uh, and one of the things that's really funny about these two is you'll have one scammer putting something up here and then other scammers dive into the comments to try to scam people who are responding to the first scammer. Um, which I just always think is funny. Now, the person who posted this one is Lance Benoit, in theory. Um, and right down below, we have, I'm going to try to go to all comments here. Um, all right, so we have this scammer here dropping in this information, giving you their Telegram locations. Um, and then we have this person saying, all thanks and accolades to a great job, John Smith, and then putting in information here to try to get you to go to their thing. Um, so it's like it's almost entirely populated by scammers. Um, so when a real job seeker comes over here, they they don't have a chance. They don't have a chance unless they know what they're looking for. I mean, you can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling here. Um, I also responded to this person. Um, I sent them a text message. And just now, while I was making this video, I started to hear back from Curtis Harvey. Um, <laughs> and yeah, they're, they want to make me this job offer too. I mean, I'm just getting one job after another today. I'm telling you. Um, as anybody can, if they don't mind those jobs being scams. So anyway, on this particular Facebook group, and I'm not picking on them. Well, I am picking on them, but I'm picking on them as a one of many. Um, so many of these groups are set up by scammers expressly for the purpose of getting their information out there into the hands of job seekers who don't know what they're falling into. Um, so that's it. Be safe out there. I just wanted to give you a for example of what's happening out there. If you are one of those people who's joining a bunch of work from home Facebook, Facebook groups, um, know what you're looking for, know what you're looking at, and be able to identify these scams for what they are. Um, there are a lot of good Facebook groups out there um, that have great information. Uh, until you land on one of those, just be super, super careful. If you want a safe place to go to find real remote jobs, I encourage you to head over to the Rat Race Rebellion website. Um, we post work from home jobs there that are screened five days a week, Monday through Friday. And as always, while you're there, if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to our free email newsletter, and that will help keep you in the loop on those legitimate jobs as well. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon here on the YouTube channel and on the Rat Race Rebellion site. Bye-bye.